Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to replace an infinity key fob battery. It's actually a really simple process and all that you really need is a small flathead screwdriver or you can even just use your nails if you have long enough nails and if they're strong enough to open up this key fob. Now let's get right to it. As you can see right here I have an infinity key fob. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to slide this and pull out the actual key. So I'm going to slide this to the side, pulling it towards the outside, and then I'm going to remove the key. <clears throat> now I'm just going to place this key to the side, and what we have here is now the key fob in itself. Now what you want to do is you want to separate the two halves of the key fob. You can see right here there's a line that goes all the way around the center of the key fob, and you want to separate this half from this half. So once again, you can use your nails if you want. If you can get your nails in there and you can pry it apart, it's very possible, but I'm just going to use um, a flathead screwdriver because it's a little bit easier for me. So if you take a look right here, there are these two little slots. Okay, now on this key fob, this one is a little bit broken, so I'm not going to use this one, but you can use either of these slots to open it up. I'm just going to use this one on the left. I'm going to put the flathead screwdriver in there. I'm just going to give it a little twist and I'm holding it open. And I'm just going to use the flathead screwdriver to continue to work my way around the key fob and just pry it apart. Just like that. And once it's decently apart, sorry about that, once it's decently apart just like this, you can just get your hands and just pull it apart. <clears throat> now what you can see right here is that we actually have the battery right there. So I'm just going to remove the battery just like this. I'm just going to put the key, the, the flathead screwdriver in there and just give it a little twist and you can pop the battery out pretty easily. So I'm going to place that battery to the side and I'm just going to replace it with a battery, a new battery. So as you can see right here, this is the plus sign, okay? And once again, this is a CR2032 battery. And I'm going to get the plus sign and I'm going to put it face down right here. So the plus sign goes face down. Then just push it into place. Let's try that again. I'm going to try and push it into place uh, the other way to make it a little bit easier to go in. Let's just try that again. I'm going to slide it this way and then push it down. As you can see, it's nicely in place. And now we just have to reassemble the key fob. So once again, we're just gonna get the rounded side, match it up with the rounded side, just like that. Press it together when it's lined up, just like that. Make sure that it all clicks into place nicely, which, there we go. And then you wanna take your key portion and you wanna just slide your key portion back in, just like that. It clicks into place, and you've now replaced the battery on your Infinity key fob very simple process and I've shown you exactly how to do it in this video. Give this tutorial a thumbs up if you liked it and if it helped you and be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.